Welcome to Heathen's Garage. We're taking the engine out of the stupid thing. Should we work on the truck today? <laughs> You'd be interested in that? What about you, Elvis? Yeah, you want to go up to the barn and work on the truck? Yeah. Should we go? All right, let's go. You've seen part one and part two of this here debacle. You'll know that this thing has no oil pressure. That did not stop me from driving it for the last number of months. But being that I got a few days off over Christmas, probably time to pop the engine out and uh, see what kind of work we're in for. I'm gonna get the heater going and see if I can make the barn a few degrees warmer than it is now. We'll go from there. So step number one here, that's already fairly controversial, because why not start there? We're gonna dump a couple liters of diesel in this. Maybe we'll get it warm first. Either way, we're gonna have a couple liters of diesel in the crankcase, and we're just gonna run it. And hopefully that'll make some of the like crunchy, dirty, gross, slobbery bits that I'm guessing are in this engine go to the bottom. And it'll just make our end cleanup a little bit better. And since we're not, hopefully, gonna send it to a machine shop, then we don't have to worry as much about like oil passages being dirty because hopefully they're already clean. At least that's the theory. I don't recommend the idea, it's just a thing that I'm gonna do. Just a couple liters so it's way over full. Then we'll just run it for a while. If we hear the valve train start making noise, then that'll be a good time to shut it off. I don't know what happened to my big drain pan. I hope this is big enough. I was gonna try and squeeze under there. Turns out, uh, don't fit, so... Yeah, up she goes. Where is the cross member? I can mess up on, share this one. Apparently I need to go higher for a jack stand. I would like a jack stand. Ooh. Don't wobble around. Not on there very good. Oh, it's dangerous. We'll get you under here somehow. Get me under here somehow. On this wrench. Now I predict this is gonna come out in a hurry because it is both hot and now quite thin. So I'm a little. I'm not gonna try and catch the plug, let's put it that way. Well, maybe I will. That's not so bad. Oh! There's a fair bit of metal on this drain plug. Oh, no, don't do that. I think we're gonna let that drain while we go have lunch. That seems like a good idea. So since we've got this thing up in the air now anyways, I suppose it makes sense to undo everything. Like the exhaust, and the transmission bolts, and whatever wiring's down here. Dump the radiator out. All little things I don't really feel like doing, but I guess they need done, so. Just gonna do those. We had to put another coat on. It's really cold. Here we go! That didn't work. This gun sounds broken. Let's try a shorter extension. If you put it in the right direction, it comes out better. Why aren't you out yet? Now it's just not going out. Is it seized or stripped or what's going on here? I need a flashlight. Go 
It appears though it is threaded loose, but it is not loose. And I just need to hit it with a hammer. Let's try a different one for now, so we're less sad. Hey, we got one. Hey, that's two. Well, two and a half. Okay, we got the three bolts undone, and we got the clamp a doodle back there undone. We got the hanger undone. We got the O2 sensors undone. So theoretically, one side at least should just come right out. This, this side, obviously, no, not the other side yet. It's not. I haven't undone it. Come on out. Come on in. Get over there. Oh yeah, that's ooh. Ee. Careful, my buddy. Yeah, that's better. Less damage. Come on, out. We're moving at least. Oh yeah, it's moving. Get out of there! That's far enough. I don't need to remove the exhaust any further than that. We just leave it here. Now. Right? Yeah, I don't need to pull it. What am I doing? Why am I even doing this? It's good, right there. Leave it. These actually should come right off because we lubricated them when we put the manifold on this side. Let's see if it worked. It didn't help. Some of them came out. That one's not going swell. There we go. That's a good fire. We're just gonna get it warmer than it's ever been before. Yep, that's plenty warm. You're off and you're off. Oh, day before oh, so you don't blow, you know. Get out of there. Or however it goes. Hey! Like it wasn't even tight. That's that's a win. The blessing that Chevrolet gave that no other manufacturer has equaled, which is, you know, appropriate access to the torque converter. Even if you just want to look at it. <clears throat> I already had the other bolts up. Get over there. Well, what's the good of this? Why'd you make it removable if I can't remove it? Now where are you stuck? Oh, there we go. Come on. Let's go. Oh. Good thing I made that exhaust so loose. I guess it's a good a time as any to uh, get the starter out, hey? Are you dick? Oh yeah, that figures. No mistake. Mm -hmm. This is another good idea on Chevrolet. Two bolts going upwards. Now, our next thing we need to get accomplished is we need to pull at least one bell housing bolt so we can go fetch some new ones that are nice and long to fit in the stand. But I don't have any metric here. And everything is closed tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that. So we're probably going to run into town after pulling one bolt and come back to this either this evening or tomorrow. Well, probably not tomorrow, because that's like Christmas Eve. But, you know, sometime. It's like three days later. Kind of Christmas happened, and you no, know, we didn't do stuff. So, we're back. We're going to carry on. I'm probably just going to finish the stuff underneath and then bring you up top when the time comes, because the stuff underneath just, it's hard to see, and like it's, you take the bolts out. That's that's what you do just take them out you'll figure it out then we just stick a wrench up on here and we put the bar against something or hold it or whatever and just turn them right out i think this is the last one so that's progress a few bolts left to do on the bell housing and after that we're gonna drop the truck back down and move to the up top world for a while and see how that goes for us are you leaving oh hi what a nice looter dog. 
Oh, next practice. All bell housing bolts out. Access to the motor mount bolts, I think, from when we're on the ground. And theoretically, everything that is underneath unhooked and ready to, you know, be removed. So now we're doing stop, stop, I guess. Down she goes. I don't know what's in there right all the way through it. I'm taking things off so that it can come out. That's, that's all there is to that. Get over there. This is the freaking easy part. Couldn't find the drains and they're just pulling off the big hose. That's guaranteed to make a big mess. That'll be nice. Come on, hop over there. That cool so strong you can just taste it. Right in the air. Hopefully some of that's going in the pan. Oh yeah, that's pretty good actually. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're making a mess. Now we're talking. Oh yeah. That's everywhere now. I can tell you one thing for free. None of these spring clamps are going back on. I am like a not spring clamp kind of guy. I'm more of a gear clamp kind of guy. But I don't like spring clamps. Because they're the worst. Oh. Did I knock the fan off so I got a little more room? Do I have the technology to do that? Mm -hmm. We'll take this fancy dancy kit and we'll use it. See this contraption? Bop, bop. Box things off. Works good. Not everybody's got one of these, but you know, I do, so I'm gonna use it. Here we go. This will work now, maybe. Yep. There she went. All right, we're gonna do a thing because I'm sick of being on a ladder, and that is we're gonna dump the air out of the tires. I guess that makes it wiring harness time now, doesn't it? I love fixing cars. I'm still too small. That's disappointing. You know, it's not a bad idea. If you got opportunity, just put the bolts back where they came from so that you don't lose them. I'm not very good at remembering to do that, but some people are. Not everybody can make the worst thing in the world. But you guys, with that yellow insulation, you made the worst thing there is. So the whole wiring harness is not that bad, except the old injectors are nasty. And you feel like you're gonna break them just by looking at them. All right, that's the injector harness off. How come I undo things that clearly I don't need to undo? AC, power steering, motor mounts. That's it, that's all, oh, fuel lines. I think that's all. Mmm, smell of fresh fuel and success. I wonder which is easier. Pulling the power steering lines? I'm not pulling the power steering lines. Uh oh. Well, that's got a slight oversight there. Currently, my drain pan is holding the truck off the ground. So, if I need another drain pan, Apparently with front tires being flat, I needed something really low profile. And this is what I could find. It's the lid from a Tupperware. It's got maybe an inch of depth, but it's gonna hold like 40% of the fluid I'm gonna drop, so it's better than all of it on the ground. The next part is the AC, and uh, yeah, we don't run the camera for the next part. It's just, yeah, that's we don't. Every time I think I'm almost done, I realize there's like six more things to do. We're gonna gotta pull the intake off, get the knock sensors, so 
Guess we'll do that first. That sure would have made undoing that top bell housing bolt easier. Next time I'll do that to begin with. Just a, where does it go? How does this operate? Get over there. Ooh, gross. That's disgusting in there. Look at how gross it is in there. We've got dirt. Dirt like crazy. We're gonna have to vacuum this out. Right where it sits. I, I did not have to remove that intake manifold. Is this knock sensor that I was worried about? They just go to there. I definitely could have just undone those two sensors back there and it would have been fine. So that was kind of a waste, but oh well. Here comes the noise. Na, na, na. As foreman of this here operation, I've made an executive decision. And that is that it is cutting time. It's not that late, but I want to go home and see my wife and have supper. So that's what I'm doing. And you can't tell me not to. Good morning. We have already started on this project here. My wife came out this morning and she was kind enough to give me a hand pulling the hood off. So that was pretty great. Um, motor mounts are theoretically undone. And basically, we got to pop that motor plate down. And we're going to throw the uh, throw the hoist on it and see what happens. Now, I'll find four bolts like this, about a quarter inch longer. So there's lots of thread engagement. Two, three, four. Now this is pretty theoretical that this is going to fit, but it, well, it should promise. Okay, so we're going to have to modify our, uh, our lifting plate a little bit. It does not fit in LS. So that's a pretty ugly way to do it, but uh, well, it's done, so good enough. Take your grinder quick to this side. All right, just clean those up quick. Yeah, so it definitely isn't the prettiest thing I've ever made, but it will do the job. Make sure we don't round them down too hard in case they're too long. They're too long. So it took us less than six minutes to modify our engine plate to fit. Which to me seemed worthwhile, especially given the fact that five of those minutes was me wandering around looking for my die grinder, which I forgot that I'd put away. Now, hopefully we have an engine plate that's reasonably strong enough to pick this up. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to put a little air in the tires. All right, just a little more air on this side. We'll be in business. The truth is, this stand is just a little small for this job. For how deep that engine is back in there. It's almost like a take the bumper off kind of gig. We'll make it though. Great idea, Ethan. Buy a truck at an auction, Ethan. It'll be fine, Ethan. Nothing will go wrong. Feels like it's still stuck on the transmission. Yeah, everything's going as planned now. It just isn't coming off the transmission for some reason. It's stuck. I pull all the bolts. Did I missed one? Mm -hmm. Anything's possible. It sure isn't coming off of there. All right, we gotta crawl underneath and see if I missed a bolt or something. Something's wrong. Do I even fit under this thing? Not a chance. Since I don't fit, I guess I'll just jack it up a little bit, eh? Until I fit. I see three loose and the top one on this side. So that's okay. Maybe I should just slip coveralls on, eh? Roll around like a snake on the ground. Oh, these are tight. It's like I'm wearing two layers of pants and three shirts. I don't want to work in the water. Oh, well. It's definitely all out. They just don't want to really split. 
Why don't I understand what's going on? Why are you coming out? Oh, I probably squished a wiring harness there. Got that side out loose. This side is not coming loose. Now it's in there real crooked. There she goes. That transmission did not want to let go. Now that there's an engine in the way, why don't we pull the shroud now? Good thinking. Yeah. Hey, that gives me a bunch more room. It looks like I've got a ground hook somewhere. That's, well, that's typical actually. Pretty normal to have a ground hook. Feels like a 13 or a 15. Not bearing that up. I don't know what I'm caught on. Not good to see a pin fall out of your jack. Oh, there's two out. Good. Where's the other one go? That's not good either. Maybe I should invest in some better hairpins if they're going to fall out while I'm using it. Oh, I have a sliver. That's disappointing. Ow. Buy a truck at auction, he says to himself. It'll be great, he says. It won't be much work. I'll have a nice daily driver tow truck. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's what he says to himself. Well, this is a tighter fit than I thought it was going to be. I'll just keep going, Ethan. It'll be fine. It's not going to break the cowl. It's got lots of flex. <laughs> Whoops. That was fine. Not that big of a deal. We can always ignore that, what I just did. This isn't like an easy squeeze out of here. I thought I had tons of room. Let's see if we can just pull that thing off. That's ruining our day. Why do I do this to myself? Let that be a lesson, I guess. If it's in the way, just move it. It's not that hard. One lousy bolt. I think it's supposed to be two, but one of them broke. So one lousy bolt. I think pretty well, other than this air conditioning line. We're free, I think. Home stretch. I always wonder when things are this tight, did they plan to ever take this out this way? And they're just that good of engineers? Or is it just luck? <laughs> oh my, this barn is starting to feel a little snug for a crew cab job. Okay, folks, that's, uh, that's where we're going to leave this episode. Yeah, it's, uh, it's out. Ta-da. I guess a teardown and then an inspection is the next time you'll see this. Because we don't know. Maybe it needs to go to a machine shop. We're going to hope not, though. We'll see you next time. Bye.